So what's going on, crazy beautiful people? What's going on? I like to address this elephant that's in the room. And that elephant being something called based off of like relationships. So this is a message to the fellas. And I'm gonna end up making it unisex. So I'm gonna make it universal and stuff like that. You know, whatever your sexual preference is, still or whatever you want to define yourself as, still at the end of the day, you still all end up having emotions, thoughts, and feelings. If you're a lifeless, on emotional type individual, then you're not alive. But getting to the point. Fellas, do you want to know why it is that you're losing your queens so rapidly just like that? And you're stressing out and thinking as though you're doing everything what it is that you're doing. It's for several different reasons. One being, some of y'all are not putting your woman first. So basically, what a lot of you guys are actually doing is something very dangerous. You're actually putting a lot of other things on before your woman. Even your child, your children, you guys may actually end up having that with each other. I'm not saying don't be a father, don't take care of your children. Totally not saying that. What it is that I'm actually end up saying is that how, when you choose to actually not have a structured relationship based off of you two being adults, and you actually end up putting a child or something like that first, it actually causes problems. Even if the woman is coming into a relationship with you, you already have a child or children, always make sure you always end up having time and understanding for that woman. And here's another thing. Fellas, another reason why you guys are losing your queens very quickly and easily is because you're not protecting, protecting your throne. You're not protecting your kingdom. By you not protecting your kingdom, you're leaving it easy where somebody could go ahead and come and invade or vacate that property. Invade your your queen's mind and everything. Let me tell you this. The first thing that happens for a woman and how a woman actually be, uh, is more attracted to a man just besides his physical looks is when she actually ends up hearing him speak and when she actually smells him. If a woman actually ends up hearing the intellect what, or, or how dumb or how intelligent a man sounds, she will either end up staying with him or straying from him. Some women, though, they just can't help themselves, though. They just want to go ahead and, you know, do X, Y, Z with whoever. But, you know, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. You have to protect your queen, just like the game of chess. If you're not protecting her and showing her how to be protected and how to protect herself while she's not there, then what kind of protector are you? So your queen is going to go ahead to go to somebody else, whether it's a roughneck, a badman, a thug life motherfucker, to go ahead and go and give her what it is that you're not giving her. That protection, especially if you're the type of individual where it is now, you get punked a lot. And even if she's the one punking you, she will always be able to get one over on you. And she will always go ahead and move on from you. Because every single moment that she's that you're allowing her to emasculate you, you have no authority. You have no power. You have no juice. So this woman basically end up seeing that how you're just somebody she could one over on. Because you have no proper strength no protection even within yourself the first person you're supposed to be able to protect in this world is always yourself and once a woman actually end up seeing that how you can protect yourself then you can protect her and you can protect the household then you can protect the kingdom and then you can protect the family that woman would be able to be just water in your hands that's one there's many different levels to women but that's just one here's another thing fellas When your woman is talking to you, sometimes you shut the fuck up. Just listen. Just let her vent. Just let her vent. Just let her vent. And if she asks you a question, ask if it's rhetorical. If it's not rhetorical, then give her an answer what it is that's going to be beneficial for her. That's going to benefit her. Whether, and whether or not it's the truth, <clears throat> she can actually take. 
Because if you give her a lie, that woman won't respect you that much for a lie. You got to give this woman the honest truth. Break into her soul just by even weirdest is breaking her soul just from her actually having to swallow that truth. Something with it is she can't be able to bear and hear. Just think about that. Here's another thing, fellas. Why you're losing your queens. You do not put your friends before your queen, especially if that queen has been in your corner and holding you down in whatever X, Y, Z without being told or without being asked to do certain things. You do not, do not, and I say this, do not put your friends before your queen because you will actually end up seeing how quick your friends actually just dwindle away. Or some of them might even end up dying. Some of them might actually end up moving on, moving to the next location. You guys might actually end up having a fallout. But now who you left with? The same person that you was actually turning your back on. The one that you was pushing away. If you can't be able to have time management when it comes down to being with your woman and letting your friend or friends know XYZ comes first, then it's going to be something of a struggle where it is now. As I'm saying, and as I said, she will go ahead and try to get that from somebody else. And even if she doesn't go looking for that, somebody else may come looking for her and give her that what it is that she needs. When a woman cheats, a woman doesn't cheat just by only just physical needs. A woman also cheats by emotional needs. As men, we cheat on looks and physical needs because we're predators. We go after what it is that we want. Some of us were shallow. Um, not Let me not even say some of us. Some of the, you that have shallow insecurity issues go after whatever it is. I've seen some of you guys end up having some, uh, how should I say, some nightfall creatures. Y'all only bring them out when the night when, when the night comes out. You know how, that, how the song goes from Woody. The freaks come out at night. So you got to be able to know how to play the game. It's not even about playing the game to use these women. It's about playing the game of playing the game of life. Because you will be one of those people I'm losing your queen and then looking from the outside, seeing her within somebody else and her building and having a proper understanding of her glowing with somebody else or her being like water in somebody's hands, just melting away. There's so many different structures, but I just end up giving you a small little blueprint. This is why some of you fellas are actually end up losing your women. And another thing, foremost and last, fellas, don't put your woman in danger if you're doing something stupid or get caught up in something that is your fault. Don't put her in danger. That's one of the most dangerous and selfish things that you could possibly ever, ever, ever end up doing. Don't do that. This goes for the ladies as well, too. Don't go picking battles with somebody that you know, X, Y, Z, or you don't know, and you think as though your man could be able to handle the situation. Your man cannot handle every situation that's tossed your way because there's some people out here that's far more crazier and far more gangsters. So you have to be careful and be aware. Pick your battles, choose your battles, just love each other, find time with each other, listen, understand each other, and feel each other out. Now, to the ladies. Do you women want to know why you're losing your senior kings? Let's start with the first one. Men don't like to be nagged. Don't come nagging us. Don't come nah nah nah. We don't like that. Let's tell us something once or twice. But you got to make sure you tell us this at an appropriate time. Where it is we know where it is you know and we know that we're not distracted. Where it is you have our full attention. So just saying. 
men don't like this. Females. Not saying all females, but some females. But those that like to go out and party. Have girl time out. Or whatever it is, etc., etc. Not every man wants to end up dealing with a party girl. And fellas, don't go looking for all these females that are in parties. Especially if she's a frequent party goer every week, every day. And if you have in low insecurity issues with yourself, that relationship won't work out between you two. But no man wants a woman that's always out partying. Sometimes men want to go ahead and be cuddled, spooned. Just, we carry a lot. We carry a lot. 